Sorry guys, this is my first YouTube video and I'm just a little nervous. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and in today's video we're going to be going over how I use the one and only Color Fix hair color remover from Sally Beauty to strip my box dyed black hair to brown. I am very impatient and impulsive so when I don't know how to do something that I want to do right now I just YouTube it and find out how to do it. About two to three weeks I was searching YouTube videos online of girls stripping their hair from black to brown using non-bleach options like Color Fix or Color Oops or any kind of color stripper. So I stripper <laughs> so in my searches I never found anybody that came out with the results that I really wanted it was either really orange or really brassy or they had stripped it because they wanted to bleach it to go blonde I just wanted to strip it to go one shade lighter the original plan with my hair was I was gonna let it grow out and then try to put a dark brown color over it well after about three months I was getting super impatient so no surprise there just a little history about my hair I've been box dyeing it black for about 14 years which is a really long time. So I knew this process was not going to be easy. I have used Color Fix before. It was several years ago when I was attempting to go blonde. That obviously did not work out very well. Um, definitely not trying to go blonde this time. Not trying to fry my hair. So having used Color Fix before, I knew that this product was basically going to shrink the color molecules in my hair that the artificial dye deposited. I did use the Color Fix twice to my hair. I really wanted to be sure that it lightened and I hadn't seen anybody else try to strip their hair using Color Fix twice. So I wasn't sure how the color was going to come out. Um, I did have a couple boxes of dark brown hair dye handy just in case I didn't like the result. So Oh, yeah, that's what I did. Huh. This is a video on how I use this product and how it worked for me. I really hope this helps somebody because I sure could have used it when I was trying to figure out how I was going to lighten my hair. Let's do this. I mixed equal parts of part one, which is the color reducer. Hello? And part two, which is the conditioning catalyst. There are two. Yeah, yeah. I mix these two together in a mixing bowl using a tint brush. My advice to you is not to use the Color Fix bottle number three. Any YouTube videos I've watched on here, everyone always says not to use it. I have personally never used bottle number three. Oh, I might just refresh my memory, you know what I'm saying? I am not an expert. <laughs> stands for like no I'm not fine I'm freaking out a tinge left in there like it's literally not much um so I'm just gonna put it on my hands and run it through my ends maybe yeah so after I was done with the first process to my hair, I covered loosely just with a Walmart bag that I had handy and I processed for 20 minutes. Oh my god I look like a hobo I'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> it's been 20 minutes, and I don't know if you can tell, but it, it oh, 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 oh Lord, can you see that? Yeah, definitely lifted, thank you, Jesus. It doesn't feel damaged at all. It's like actually soft, I don't know. I'm gonna go wash this out, and I'll be right for the first process, I got in the shower and allowed hot water to flow through my hair for about three to five minutes. I used hot water because the hot water will open the hair cuticles in your hair, allowing that artificial hair color to flow out. I am not a professional. I think that goes without saying. Blow dry it so you can see what it looks like dry. And then we'll start the second round of color fix. So I'll be right back. Okay, babe. Okay, hold on. 
Oh, you get out. <gasps> Dang, okay, yeah. Like this is my, probably more my natural color, actually. Let's do round two, shall we? Don't y'all feel like this is deja vu? in for 15 minutes and I'm gonna go wash it out and um I'll be back so after that second process my hair was a lot lighter but it still wasn't the color that I was going for the only thing that I had underneath my sink was the dark brown hair dye so I did do a strand test with that hair color it was a level 4 dark brown this is gonna be our test our little test hair oh my god I can't open it what the turn my hair black so I obviously didn't put it on the rest of my hair that is black ain't no dark brown about it after using this product your hair is super porous and so the last thing you want to do is put a permanent dye over the super porous hair that you just stripped if you are interested in putting a permanent hair color over your hair after you've stripped it I really recommend getting a hair color that is three to four times lighter than the actual hair color you're going for so basically after I had stripped it twice I really should have put a light brown hair color over my hair instead of a level four dark brown. After the second process, my hair still wasn't damaged at all. It actually felt a lot softer, probably because I stripped it of all those artificial dyes. I decided to put a keratin protein treatment on my hair in the hopes that it would turn my hair a little bit darker. I definitely was not wanting it to go back black, but I put it on my hair hoping that it would lift some of those orangey brassy tones and make it more of a dark color. All right, this is the next day. Um, so we stripped my hair yesterday. I don't know if it's just me or I think it got darker, my hair did, which I'm not mad about because it's actually like a brown now. Uh, it's definitely got some red burgundy colors going on and there are some spots that are still really light. It turned into like a velvety dark brown, but it didn't go back black. It almost went darker in a way that it just evened out the color in my hair. So you can tell that my roots are a little bit lighter than the rest of my hair, but basically what that means was this hair didn't have as many black box dye processes as the bottom of my hair. Overall, I'm really happy with the way that my hair turned out. Thanks so much for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and check out my channel as I will be posting more videos in the hopes of helping you all by the price of my embarrassment. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why do I look like a turd? I need a nap. One. <coughs> I'm joking. That is not what it's called. Sissy, this is hard. Are you pooping? <laughs> I'm so done. I don't know how to say goodbye. I think I'm done. Bye.